Chris and this is Victor. We are software engineers here at Ovo Energy. Uh, we use Shapeless for various things, so we'd like to talk to you about it. The most popular thing in Shapeless is generic, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. the basic idea is you have a macro which converts your type into an age list. Mm -hmm. And then, for example, if you want to serialize that or do something with it, you can uh, define operations on each of the elements in the age list. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, kind of work based on that instead. Right. Yeah, I think that's the core concept behind Shapeless, and that enables a lot of different things. Like, for example, Cersei uses it for JSON serialization. You can use it to convert from one case class to another if they have similar types and so on. Yeah, yeah we use it to traverse case classes. Yeah, just like a general, general way. The way the kind of ener energy market works or the energy industry is they communicate with flat files which is basically like CSV files, except they have a slightly different format and slight different intricacies. Uh, and in the beginning, we started writing serializers for these flows. Uh, we parsed them using fast parse, uh, and that became really tedious and very repetitive. Uh, so we just started looking at shapeless and started writing serializer for that format. Yeah, I guess uh, for my part, I started out writing a lot of Scala macros to do things that I needed to do, like, for example, accessing the field names of the case class in order to serialize it in some way. And then I discovered later that this library Shapeless could do a lot of the stuff that I was already doing, but a lot more simply. How do you find the documentation like nowadays? Well, for a long time it was pretty much zero. There were just some example Scala files in the repo of Shapeless itself, but with a few comments scattered through them, but still there was no kind of over, overarching documentation of what it is and why you would want to use it. But, of course, Dave Gurnell's book has come out recently, and that's kind of changed everything. That's a really excellent resource. I think. A good overview. Yeah, I think one of the big downsides of Shapeless has been, until now, even if you understand it, you need to get your whole team to understand it and accept it before you can yeah. bring it into your project. But yeah. I think now that Dave's book is available, that's become a lot easier. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. I mean, just explaining like recursive implicit resolution to anyone is not as trivial as I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that book's really, really helped a lot with that.